Our recent weather conditions have been ideal for accelerated cotton growth. After a very cool and wet start to this season, the crop is finally off and running well. Most of the 2013 crop was planted late. A later planted crop will have less time to compensate for fruit loss or excess vegetation, so the correct use of plant growth regulators will help set your crop up for maximum yields. We often get asked how to properly manage phytogen 499. 499 is an aggressive growing variety, but it also responds very well to plant growth regulators when they're applied in a timely manner. So it's best to condition the crop early to help avoid using extreme rates later in the season. It's important to make that first plant growth regulator application prior to bloom unless you're in a dry land situation and the outlook for rain is poor. I would encourage growers to make their first evaluation at the 8 to 10 node stage and reevaluate the crop every 10 to 14 days after their first application for additional plant growth regulator treatments. In 2012, we learned that looking at the first fruiting branch could help us manage phytogen 499. 499 starts fruiting higher on the plant compared to most other varieties. The average first fruiting branch for 499 is usually at node 7. If your 499 starts fruiting below node 7, it started fruiting early and may need lower rates of plant growth regulators. If the first fruiting branch is above node 7, this indicates that the fruit set will be later and you will need to use higher rates to slow the crop down before the fruit set helps regulate the plant. Always consider current growing conditions, field history for rank cotton, and your tolerance for final plant height when making decisions concerning plant growth regulator use. Good luck this season, and thank you for planting phytogen cotton.